So you're wondering what's going on here. I wanted to film, oh, the camera is so shaky, my stitchy spot because, as you can see, it needs some organization. I don't know who that is sitting in my stitchy spot. He's supposed to be stitching. So, yeah. Um, it's a recliner. So, it's very comfy. He don't know how to use it because I don't never let him sit there. Um, <laughs> I didn't ask him to do this. He just kind of joined in on the fun. You see a basket there in front. Go ahead and put your legs down. Um, that is supposed to hold all my whips. Well, it's full. And if you look on the couch, I have taken over the far end of the couch with whips. They're stacked up there. They're stacked up on the arm. They're everywhere. And my table, well, it's not much better. It is a hot mess. And I fuss at my son and my husband all the time because they leave all their crap laying around. And my spot looks pretty bad. And there's my light. Um, I have some needle minders magnet, magnetized on the light. And there's even some thread hanging from the light. I see it. So, yeah, I want to clean this area up. So, this is going to be like stitchy spot before and after. So, I'm going to, um, he excused himself from my video. So, I'm going to order a Rascog cart, if that's what it's called. Um, actually, I've already ordered it. So, this video will be like in two or three parts, probably. And I won't film the other part until it gets here sometime next week. So, but I wanted to go ahead and do this while it's a hot mess. There's wrapping paper over there, too. Yeah, that's bad. So, get a good look at it, because I'm going to clean it up. That's a trash bag between the chair and my table. Yeah, I'm not going to give you a close-up of the table because then you really will be like, good God, what a mess. So, it's going to look better next time you see it. Okay, so, now I have it all cleaned up and the Rascod cart in the background. Right there. Um, I like this a lot better. <laughs> There's box. See the boxes in the corner of the frame? <laughs> That's from the cart. So, I think this looks a lot better. If I can just keep it up. There's still a few things on my table. But, um, that'll just stay there because it's stuff that I use all the time. So, yeah. Now, in the basket right there is stuff that um, I've started stitching, but don't have any plans to go back to anytime soon. So, yeah. Um, so, now I'll show you what's in the cart. Here's the cart. Um, I've already kind of junked it up, I guess, with my magnets. Um, this has a proper name. Don't ask me what it is. But it's a needle threader, has a little light on it, and it has a thread cutter right here. And I put a magnet on the back so I can keep it on my cart. These are other needle minders. I even put a magnet on the back of this one. This one I use with um, a 26 size needle and down. Um, yeah, no, it, it works with a 28. It does work with a 28. I have to use this one with a beading needle because this one don't work. So, what's in the cart? Um, I've got it pretty full. These are things that I am stitching on. 
um, the top shelf. I, I want to get some magnetic hooks so that I can hang my threads. Because sometimes I just leave them laying out roguely. So, this is what I was currently working on last night, which is all creatures, but I'm not going to show you that. That's a separate video. So, here's the top. Um, these are threads that I have ordered that go with a project, but I haven't matched it up to the project yet. So, um, yeah, that's a lot of thread, but anyway, I have a Mighty Light here. Also have another one here that a friend gave me. A Q-snap, um, batting to put, this ain't a Q-snap, I'm sorry, a hoop. Batting to put in Q-snaps. This is all um, linen that I've just recently got. I'll just keep it in here in case I wanna get to it quickly. Under that is two finished projects that you've already seen. So, I'm going to put this one back on top because that's where it was. And then I'm going to flip it around so those strings aren't in our way. And then down here are whips that I work on regularly. So we have um, one, two, three, farm girl. I'm saving this one for you. Arsenic and old lace. I'll stop stitching it. So you can catch up. Um, so yeah, that's what's in there. The bottom one is whips that I still want to work on, but haven't. Um, the needle worker, home of a needle worker, that's all kitted up, ready to go. I haven't started on that one. And then, like I said, the basket here is um, whips that I'm not gonna pick up for a while. Yeah, so, and also over here I have, see where I stick all my needles in a table runner? Yeah, and I know that all these go with my turtle that I'm beating. I pretty much know what they all go with, so that's why I do that. Um, the turtle that I'm beating is right here. I'm um, also in here are some supplies for my stitching. And then I hang my little scissors right there. So, um, there's my Oort jar. It's the only Oort jar I've ever used. So, um, it is full to the brim, to the max. So, yeah, that's my Rascog cart. I like it. It was my very first purchase from Ikea, and we don't have an Ikea here, so I had to order it, which is okay. And, um, yeah, I like this organization a lot better. It's not piled up on my couch, which I would pile everything on my arm of the couch right there. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I will be back soon with a false tube update. Happy New Year.